So John defeat at home to Easter today, just what were your thoughts on that performance? Uh, it was poor performance, um, you know we lacked energy today uh, which is unlike us so uh, I don't know whether the uh, effects of Wednesday t took its toll um, but we never really got going throughout the game. And you know like you say um, even in defeat at most on every game this, this season uh, there's been energy levels there at least, there's been something to shout about at least so how hard was that today see, seeing that unfold? Well, it's as I say, you don't want it to happen, but it's happened. Uh, it was difficult um, to, to get any positives from it, really. So, um, especially being at home, then uh, we've, we've got to be far better than that because, uh, you know, we've got to make this place uh, somewhere where teams don't want to come. Um, and I know we've had a bit of travelling and, and, uh, and two tough games, but. Uh, well, no, we've got to recover quickly, and I think it's a mental thing as much as anything. Because as a as a footballer, you're expected to play Saturday, Tuesday, or Saturday, Wednesday, and then Saturday again. So, um, you know, it's something that uh, we've got to have a look at um, because that wasn't good enough today. I think it's the first time this season as well we've gone into the break um, down, and so sort of what was how challenging was it at half time to try and get sort of any kind of improvement? Oh, it's not. And for myself, it's not challenging because I've seen it all before where teams have come in. And but I saw, thought there was a little bit of improvement just after half time. Um, but uh, but again, we didn't really look like scoring. I think the best opportunity was probably off a off a set piece, um, and that was for both teams really. You know, even though we weren't at our best, Eastley didn't create a great deal. Um, but uh, but no, I'll have to look back at the game and and uh, obviously. See, uh, see where we can do better. A couple of substitutions today, which looked forced. Um, is, have there was a couple more knocks um, that you know may put them out for future games. Hopefully not. All three substitutions were down to injuries. Obviously, we had Lenny at half time with his hamstring, and then uh, Alex Wettel and uh, and Dice. So uh, hopefully, uh, Alex and uh, uh, Lenal won't be too. Too bad, uh, Dice was bang on the head, so uh, hopefully uh, he'll recover okay. I think it is one thing this season that we have seen sort of every game, we, we, there's been a forced substitution at some point, luckily Dan Pivers was fit again, available for today, but how um, difficult has that made it having to legislate for that? It's, as I say, you can do without it because majority of the injuries that we've had have been contact injuries. Today was slightly different, but I think the reason why we got injuries today was probably uh, through fatigue um, because of the travelling and the uh, and having to play on the Wednesday. But uh, but yeah, we, it's the same for everybody. So we have to uh, get on on with it. And uh, those who come in have got to prove a point. And uh, at the moment, the ones who've come in haven't really done that. So so it's up to them to to step up to the mark because they're more than capable of it, capable at this level. So. Um, we go again at Maidenhead and it's a good opportunity to, to try and get three points. And we will finish by looking ahead to the Maidenhead game and then straight into another game, Bank Holiday Monday as well, at home to Oldham. How difficult are those Bank Holiday weekends where you're playing, you know, Saturday then Monday? Well, hopefully, um, uh, if we can get six points out of them, then it won't be difficult. It's, as I say, it's the same for everybody. So uh, um, we've got to make sure that uh, we do things right. And if we can get three points at Maidenhead, then obviously it sets it up for a big game against Oldham here.